Uh, let's talk about the sum and difference rules, of which are just still like. Uh, they're basically, okay, for me, I feel like they're just like part of what we do. Um, but the basic idea is if you have uh, y being equal to the summation of two different functions, f of x plus g of x, the derivative of y which we call y prime is the same as uh, derivative of the individual function itself in this case f of x plus the derivative again of, of g of x okay so the what this means is the derivative of the entire part is equal to the derivative of the individual the summation of the derivative of the two parts so the basic idea is if you are adding two functions and then you decide to differentiate y as as a whole it's basically the same as differentiating these individual functions and then just getting to add them okay maybe to make more sense as we look at an example so if you have y is equal to 3x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 3. We understand that y prime, in this case, you know how to work, work out this by the power rule. So it will be 12x to the power 3 plus 6x squared. Now what we are saying, according to the sum rule, the derivative is the same as since this can be considered to be these can be considered to be separate functions y prime is also equal to the derivative of of 3x to the power 4 plus the derivative of 2x to the power 3 so even if you do them separately and come to add them you still get the same result. That's the basic idea behind the, the, the sum and the difference rule. Giving you one more example, which maybe will make it make more sense, but uh, in this case, you can see the necessity of doing that. So if you've got that and equal to cos 2x, <coughs> so this is a function. In this case, our, our function is y, but this can be taken to be a separate function, that can be taken to be a separate function. So some rule, or even if you have a negative there, tells us that you can basically get the y derivative by, first of all, take this part, differentiate separately, take this part, differentiate separately, and come to add the results, you have your derivative. That's what the rule tells us. So if you have a negative as well, you can put a negative there. So you can get the first part. Um, the derivative of uh, x squared e to the power 2. Now you do understand that here we've got a product of two different functions. You can apply a product rule. And what's a product rule? Try to remember it. Okay, so <coughs> the product rule we apply addition there. So addition is community, but it doesn't matter what you start with. In this case, I'll start by the derivative of the first part, which is 2x. And then I'll multiply by the original other part. I'll maintain e to the power 2. And then plus, and then now I'll differentiate e to the power 2. So <laughs> let me make it e to the power 2x to make it interesting. So the derivative of e to the power 2x becomes, uh, what becomes, what does the derivative become? The, the derivative of the power, which is 2x, is just a 2. So I have a 2 multiplying the e to the power 2x itself. We already talked about uh, derivative of exponentials. And then what else do we have? And then we can have, uh, let me put this. We can have something like, multiplying now, we have to multiply by the original other part, which is the first part we started with x squared. That's the product rule. So we have. 2x e to the power 2x plus 2 e to the power 2x x squared. Ok. 
Okay, so that's our first part. Now you can also get the cos 2x as well and then also differentiate it. Now you understand that cos 2x is a basic uh, trigonometric derivative. So here we apply the chain rule. So the derivative of cosine is what? Is negative sine. So negative sine maintain what is attached to it and then multiply by the derivative of this part. So the derivative of 2x is just a 2. So the answer becomes negative 2 sine 2x. Okay. So to get your final result for y prime, it will be the summation of the two answers. So you have 2x e to the power 2x plus so I can say 2x squared e to x minus 2 sine 2x. So that's the idea about the sum and the difference rule. It tells you you don't have to worry about splitting them. You can split them and then come to add their derivatives together to get the overall derivative of y. Now, for your practice, I want you to look at this and just differentiate this. Um, plus natural log of x and then minus x squared y. So you've got three parts that you can split into individual functions. You know the square root is the same as the power half. So after you've learned about the derivatives of, of the logarithms and then also implicit differentiation, be able to answer this question. Write it down. You should be able to answer this question after watching the entire video.